welcome to the pin man today our special guest is the waterman phileas fountain pen the waterman phileas is no longer produced by uh, the waterman pin company but you can find a lot of choices on ebay and there you will spend anywhere from 30 to 130 dollars uh, to get a hold of one of these pens. Uh, what I really appreciate about this pen is I think it would fit the, the likes of a lot of people. It is a lightweight pen, but not so lightweight that you don't feel it in your hand. There is some uh, metal, a little bit of metal in the bar barrel, not the full barrel, but uh, more toward the finial here. And uh, so it, it gives it gives the the body if you uh, use it uncapped. Of course, it's capped and it has a nice. It does cap securely. It has a nice way to it, uh, balance way to it. But even uh, uncapped, it has enough weight to where you feel it in your hand. I like to feel my fountain pen in my hand as I write. Uh, but again, it's not so heavy that for those of you who like those uh, long writing sessions are going to find it uh, too cumbersome, too weighty, and so forth. So it's just a really uh, nice pen. This pen was given to me by a fr uh, family friend uh, who lived where we used to live. And before we moved, uh, she, uh, her uh, deceased husband uh, had at least this one fountain pen. I didn't ask to uh, go through his collection of pens and whatnot, but anyway, she thought I would, I would like this, and I certainly did, and uh, certainly do. Uh, the, um, what's really cool is even the ink cartridges that came with it uh, are still very, <laughs> very useful. Uh, this gentleman has been uh, dead for, died a few years ago, uh, so, I don't know how old the ink was, but um, anyway, the pen performs very well. So, uh, as we take a look, we will transition into show you some colors, uh, a variety of colors that you might be able to find this pen. This is the uh, blue marble, uh, but it also comes in green and red, or, or gray, and some other other colors but uh, like I said check out eBay for that and then we will take a tour of the pen uh, see some size comparisons writing sample etc etc all right thanks for watching and we'll see you on the other side alrighty what we have for you today here's a uh, tour of the Waterman Phileas uh, fountain pen. Now this is a very used, I haven't done any kind of polishing up. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, a friend of the family gave it to me. She knew that I like fountain pens and so this is what she gave me. Uh, this is the uh, marbled blue. Now you can see right here on the band that there is a gold uh, ring there that is missing uh, again this is a very used uh, fountain pen so it's but uh, it writes real well and we'll show you that in the writing sample and so it has the waterman there it's got a nice it's a spring-loaded clip and that clip still works well today I mean it's got plenty of Plenty of clip, so it looks looks nice. Um, and then it's got this uh, this little design there at the end. Let's see if I can. Get it. But I thought I thought that was kind of a neat little um, added touch. But you can see right here, and I think this is where the other one was missing, where the band doesn't come quite together. So what I'm thinking is that up here that it started maybe peeling back just a little bit and the uh, gentleman got tired of it, which I would too, I would also. And so he probably peeled it uh, right off just to get rid of it. So Waterman, France. Okay, you open it up 
And there you have the nib. Again, there's some close-ups uh, that I've taken. Uh, it has some sort of, uh, you know, kind of grip. It's just a molded, injected plastic. You know, there, there's nothing fancy going on here, but it fits well in my hand and off to the end there, it fits well. Open it up and you have your cartridge and this, so it takes the Waterman, Waterman cartridges and then uh, looks like you got a little area there where you can almost disassemble there. I don't know, but you probably have to have a tool. You don't need to disassemble these. This is, like I said, this here. Pretty inexpensive or cheap pens. There you got the plastic threads. Again, this is all injected, injection molded. Looks like a little bit of brass inside toward the end there for strength. It's a lightweight pen. Uh, there's just a little bit of well, uh, weight, but it's not too light for me. I, I like heavier pens. This is not too light. Okay, how many, oops, this is, <laughs> I don't have to worry about how many uh, screws. Anyway, the cap pops off and on very easily and nice. So if you're, if you want some kind of uh, like a vintage type of, um, I guess this would be vintage, maybe. I don't know. They don't make them anymore. So, uh, if if you like to get a Waterman, this this writes really well. I I like this pen. All right, here we have some size comparisons with the pens capped, of course. Yeah, the Waterman Phileas, the Twisby Eco, Lamy Safari, and the. Pilot Custom A23. And here they are uncapped. And here they are posted. Of course, the Waterman Phileas Custom Pilot Custom A23, Twisby Eco, and the Lamy Safari. Okay, here's a writing sample for the Waterman Phileas. And this is a medium nib. Just uh, extra information. The uh, Watermans sometimes tend to write a little bit broader than what they're labeled. So this medium writes similar to a broad. The ink is Waterman. Mysterious blue. This is, this is a nice, it's almost a, uh, once you've been writing with it for a while, it almost is like a, a slate type of blue. But uh, when you first start writing, it almost has a, uh, it has a red sheen to it, you know, when it's real kind of saturated. So it's, it's a nice, nice ink. The, uh, the flow is good. It's very excellent. No uh, hard starts or skipping. I've, I, I've enjoyed using this pen. Uh, while it is uh, acrylic and plastic, uh, as far as uh, smoothness of, of the nib, very nice nib. Let's see, reverse writing. Does a good job. Has your typical feedback on, on uh, reverse writing. And it keeps going. A little uncomfortable. Gives you a very fine uh, line there, but uh, it does a good job. This is uh, this is Rodia a Rodia pad here. By the way, uh, let's see line variation. Not much. Pretty stiff nib. 
what do I like? Or do I like this pen? Yes, I'm going to give it a big smiley here. Because uh, this, this is a very smooth writer. It's consistent. And um, yeah, highly recommend it. I'm going to try to get this thing on my uh, buffer to uh, hopefully get out a lot of the just daily use type scratches. You could tell that uh, the gentleman that used this uh, must have used it often and enjoyed it. And so I want to take care of it. it I, I never met him, but I met his widow and uh, my wife was from a uh, good friend of hers and so anyway want to take take care of that all right so there you go highly recommend this uh waterman phileas fountain pen thanks for watching hey thanks for watching the pin man today and again as we took a look at this uh, wonderful offering uh, from the waterman pen company i really do encourage you if you like a nice writer that uh, you get get onto eBay and try to find you one. I, as far as the value, is it worth that upper end uh, price range? That's up to you. Uh, this is uh, again, um, it is a pen that I guess you're paying for its rarity, but some of those are in very good condition. So uh, you know, like I said, it's it's up to you. Maybe. Maybe buy one of the ones on the uh, low uh, price range. And if you like it, then get back on and find one that's even better. All right. Again, thanks for watching. And you all have a great day.